All right, guys, hello, everybody. I have got myself on screen again. Look, as you can see up here, uh, I had a camera facing me on this one. And I'm on a little ride of just a quick upload, a couple of quick tips. It's not a long one, this one, but certainly worth sharing. Um, let me click play. Now, I found myself on a little ride recently on my way home. And as you can see, we've got a, a slip road to the left, which joins my road and creates a two-lane carriageway here. 60 k an hour zone. Uh, the blue territory here is on his way. He's of no issue to me at all. I've set off from a set of lights about uh, 200 metres back from this position. A little bit close to that Ford Escape SUV in front. Um, but I've got it covered and I've got behind me, if you look in the mirror here to the left and right actually, you've got a white van man. Now, as I'm going along here, I've got a little bit of local knowledge um, and my intention is to turn right into a right hand lane slip road in about two or three hundred meters. Um, so let's click play and keep going. Now, immediately I see this white Commodore coming up the inside. Watch his hand. Now that was my clue. He's not indicating yet, but the hand hovering, you'll see that a lot. And it's what people tend to do if they're gonna look at changing lanes. I know it's quite obvious, but there's no point in, there's, there's no, you don't have to wait for an indicator. You can see their intention. It was just give me an extra two or three seconds of grace, if you like, just to work out what he was doing. It immediately gave me the option to either speed up, which would, wouldn't have been a great idea in that position, as you can see by the kind of front, or drop back and give him the space. I knew I was going to have to do that straight away. He wasn't even indicating. And then he indicates there. But I automatically saw it before he, I glanced across, saw it before he actually did it. It gave me the option to drop back. Look for the hand signals. Look for the the, the, the hand close, if you like, from his from where he was sat. He did nothing wrong. It was great. And he indicated and he came across. And he saw that I'd given him a gap behind. What I've done then as well, of course, drop him back a little bit. Um, if we move on. On the it's a good one that indicator start job I've seen it a few times where I've been on, on dual carriageways and I've seen people driving along for two or three minutes and they probably don't even know they're doing it but they already know that further down the road they're going to look at ch ch changing lane and sometimes you can see if it's that way or that way but you can often see where they're placing the hand in, in anticipation and it doesn't have to be so immediate but you can see them hovering you think oh he's going to be looking at changing lanes soon I'll drop back, give him the room to do it, and control my space. And that's what I did. Here's the situation now after I turn into this round lane. I give myself a bit of space now, because I, I, could, I could see the slowing traffic. I'm going back to backing up here. I slow right down, I've got nothing in my lane behind me, if you look in my mirror here. That white van man stayed in that lane. But behind him, and I'm doing it and I can see now, you can't see, you can see it in this mirror on the left look you've got a silver car. Now I'm thinking, do I need to be riding right up to the back of this, even though it's slowing down, and I'm slowing down to the extent down to five, 10 k's an hour. Not a great idea for me then, therefore, you see my to, to ride right up to him. Because at that point then, I've got no get out, and I'm at potential then of a motorbike sandwich, aren't I? So what I do, slow it right down and I control what's happening behind me. I break him up, watch. So you catch him now in the right I'm mirror here. There he is now, he's there in the mirror. But up. then it gave me that little bit of a buffer zone in front. If I just go back and make that, play that in real time again, from here, let's change that lane, let's do it from there. See how slow I am? And now he's coming up behind. I've got, I can see he's breaking and then I'm a bit more safe to, to drop forward like I have done. It's a cool little tip that one. Just back them up. Do it at every junction as you're approaching slow moving traffic. Don't race up to it. Don't put yourself at risk of becoming a sandwich. You can slow right down. Get the attention of people behind you. Not to the extent where you're going to get hit up the ass. But again, it lends itself to approaching any junction. Love it. Keep, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Watch for the indicator stalks before they even come on. People hover their hands. Gives you a clue of what's happening and also Remember to back cars up as you're approaching slow moving traffic and that way it gives you that 
buffer zone to the front. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick one this time, and uh, there'll be a lot more coming up soon. Man.